Hello, everyone. My name is Dylan Fernandez, and I'm here to discuss my contribution as a member of the Young Scientist Program at Blue Marble Space Institute of Science. In the classification of carbonaceous meteorites using machine learning, I was able to work alongside other research associates, all under the guidance of Dr. Cleves, Prabhu, and Shen. Carbonaceous meteorites are carbon-rich organic compounds that contain water and are similar to the primordial matter that formed the solar system. As such, they help us understand the process of early solar system, as well as the processes that took place long before its formation. Mass spectrometer is used to identify unknown compounds, to quantify known compounds, to determine the structure and chemical properties of molecules. Using the Fourier transform ion cyclotron resonance mass spectrometer, meteorite sample data is located and combined with the known element molecular formulas and assigned peaks to create elemental composition assignments. As a team, we collected the information of about 24 samples. We created various data representations to gain insights of the compound in each sample and visualize overlaps between the samples. After we created multiple machine learning models utilizing different algorithms to assess any relationships, and through these statistical approaches, we were able to better understand the various samples and their relationships. Through data visualization, we see plots like elemental counts against the mass to charge ratio and mass spec data, which provides insights into the elemental composition and distribution of the different compounds present in that sample. Whereas with the Venn diagram, we can see the overlap and uniqueness of molecular formulas, but this is also limited to the subset of the three samples. And with the large amount of samples, the visualization technique is not as effective, but this is where we can employ heat maps to showcase common formulas between the samples and their relative percentage overlap. The focus of this project was building a machine learning pipeline that is able to process this mass spec data and create groupings or clusters as a means of classifying the various samples according to their mass to charge ratios and intensities. We have this matrix data structure obtained from mass spec, consisting of mass to charge ratio, scans, and intensity for samples. But to simplify it for machine learning, we need to perform pre-processing steps. So an example of this could be flattening which would be reducing the matrix from a 3D to a 2D space. And depending on the amount of data, additional steps may be required. So in this case, we have thousands upon thousands of rows of data for each sample. So a technique that we can employ is binning, which will allow us to group data into smaller intervals or bins. But the drawback is we can lose information. At this stage, we are able to develop machine learning models to find underlying patterns and make decisions. We applied three-dimensionality reduction techniques, PCA, MDS, and autoencoders, a type of neural network that compresses data into a lower dimension for representation. For all these dimensionality reduction techniques, we applied four different clustering algorithms, K-means, hierarchical, HDB scan, and PAM, also known as K-medioids. After performing the various dimensionality reduction techniques, we notice inconsistencies in results produced by MDS from person to person and inconsistencies in results produced by each run of autoencoders. As such, we decided to direct our focus on PCA. And from first glance, excluding the hierarchical clustering plot, there's a large presence of outliers in our PCA reduced plots. So the next step, which is not shown here, would be removing the outliers, performing the machine learning procedure again, and reevaluating the results. As this internship comes to a conclusion, what we have is machine learning pipeline, which is able to take mass spec data, pre-process it, apply dimensionality reduction techniques to focus on important features and perform various clustering algorithms to align any patterns or similarities that exist within the data. Pipeline is not only applicable to meteorites, it can be used for other types of mass spec data, such as minerals and materials. In addition, it allows us to make predictions on unseen data through clustering. The next step of this project consists of further exploring the reason for outliers, revaluating any inputs, including include any additional samples, and interpreting the results. Thank you all for listening.